A glittering and meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centred around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a stadium both packed and passionate? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. We'll have the action on EA TV. from a glorious part of the world, the Canary Islands. Welcome to the Estadio de Gran Canaria. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It is Las Palmas, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Fran Garcia is with Vinicius Junior. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Given away by Real Madrid. Vinicius Junior. Vinicius Junior. And options in the centre. Vinicius Junior. Vinicius Junior, Valverde, and return to Valverde, Carvajal, what a commitment to defending, Ruben Sobrino, a very good tackle, Jude Bellingham. Advantage played. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Well, threat over for now. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Seems to me that his foot's the problem because he's got trodden in that last challenge. Cheers, Jeff. Carvajal delivered into the area here. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Sinkgrafen. Omanuke and Fulu. Harbara now. Eric Corbello. Credit to them for winning back possession. Sobrino. Can he finish? The save was a good one. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Aurelia Chouameni. Fran Garcia. Now Eder Meritao. On the ball, Rudiger. Carvajal. 
and Bellingham and Bellingham Chouameni look at Modric that's a routine take he's managed to lose his marker must take the lead here oh not to be stopping a certain goal Alvaro Lemos well, they'll be happy to have regained possession Habara Kirian So nothing to choose between the teams at half-time as the referee blows his whistle. Stuart, your impressions of our hosts? Well, we discussed their lack of goals at the start of the game and nothing has changed my opinion during that first half. They just lack invention in their forward play. The only saving grace at the moment is their defending, which has been really good. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Very. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. I certainly won't get tired of watching this because this is a brilliant piece of skill. He imparts so much spin on the ball as well as getting it up and over the wall. Well, he has to get his team playing again. This isn't going to plan. So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? A big breaking story to pass along to you. I can tell you that Piotr Zielinski has completed his move to Chelsea. Well, the figure that's being quoted is around the £35 million. Oh, Stuart, opportunity here. Nicely saved. Eric Corbello. So to the keeper. Alvaro Lemos. Habara now. Mfulu. In possession, Alvaro Lemos. Habara. Cardona. Well, that's eye catching wide play. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Carvajal. 30 minutes left for play. And there's the feed into the box. Oh, good save. Excellent header. And the substitution will occur now. And there's the delivery. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Rudiger. Rodrigo. Well, under no real pressure as he brought the ball down. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. And we have more live La Liga action for you to look forward to. It's Las Palmas, and they'll be taking on Granada.
Aurelia Chouameni. Here's Valverde. Can he finish? And it's in beyond the goalkeeper. Real Madrid are level. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So back underway following the equaliser. Well, just a quick reminder, we'll have live cup action for you. Quarter-final action to boot on EA TV. It's Real Madrid, and they'll be up against Osasuna. Well, Derek, that should be a really good game. Down to the last eight with a place in the semi-final at stake. That should be an absolute cracker. Bellingham. Firing is in. Oh, good save. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Institution now. Can someone get on the end of this? And the danger's still on. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. Throw-ins given. Habera. And a strong tackle. Oh, the threat is there. Carvajal. Can he finish this? Oh, off the post. Still alive. Now, will the cross work out for them? Half-hearted clearance. It did look on for them, but not to be. Alvaro Lemos. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Here it is now, a substitution. Madrid could come up with a winner at this stage it could be decisive and making the move to the inside trying his luck still possibilities well goal kick just as it was looking promising use of the substitutes bench Sinkgrafen. On the ball, Vieira. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. Time running out, but they could yet win it. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. see just how good this goal is it has everything skill pace and power there was no stopping him there
So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Real Madrid attacking, and they have to give it a go with time not on their side. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, we touched on it before the game. They've struggled to score goals, but today they were far more threatening, and a lot of that came from the midfield players who passed around the pressure really well. That's a good win for them.